Hi, Girl Boss Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Girl Boss Beauty community. I am Stacey Elaine. And in today's video, I am going to give you a about a one and a half year update on my Prada Six Ring Key Holders. So that's right. I initially did a review over this product uh, last year. It is in the Safiano leather. I will tag that video above if you have not seen it. So I purchased this because I felt like I was a janitor. I had like eight to 10 keys. I felt like they were damaging my pockets, the inside lining of my handbags. And I had just taken one of my first luxury handbags, which is a YSL duffel bag. I had taken that bag to get um, repaired because the lining was totally ripped and I wanted to stop that from happening again so I purchased a key holder and it was to protect my keys so that it would not stab all of my items so I bought this one from Prada I of course a lot of people know about the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder I was not a fan of Louis Vuitton monogram. I'm not a huge fan of it still, even though I do have one monogram bag now and I do have this giant monogram strap <laughs> that I put on that bag. But I just wanted something colorful and I love this pink with the gold. I thought it was so classy and so beautiful. And I thought that when it hung from the key, from the ignition in my car, it would look really cute. So I had many problems with this, and I would say that I don't recommend this. I ended up taking it to repair twice. You can see how black it is. It turned totally black. All of this is where the leather is missing. I do not recommend it. You can see the leather is missing here, here. It's not dirty. I don't want you to think it's dirty. I've cleaned this with leather conditioner, but it's just, the leather basically just flakes off and it will do that again. Another reason why I had to take it in is because this whole piece tarnished and it made everything else black and then one of these fell off. And so they actually took about six to eight weeks to send it back in and they replaced it. So that's why this piece in the back looks very, very gold. Um, but they put these rings back on and it just wore really badly. Now, I don't think that the, the leather will ever rip because it is very sturdy. It's actually a tough feeling leather. You could like scratch it or whatever, but I, I just don't like how it looks. It's supposed to be pink and it looks pink and black. I don't like that. So when this one started giving me the blues and I had to take it back in for repair, instead of going without a six ring key holder, I bought another one. And this one I bought from the Prada Boutique in Saks, Houston Galleria. I purchased this one from the Prada Outlet in San Marcos, Texas. So this is the most beautiful color pattern our colorway that I love so much. It is gray with gold hardware. I love gray with gold hardware. I did not get Safiano leather. I got a soft leather that I thought would not flake off like the other one did. And it has not, it has not flaked off. But as you can see, after less than a year or a little more than a year, cause I got this one in May, um, this, it still looks very, very old. Um, compared to, I believe, how a Louis Vuitton coated canvas one would have looked. Um, so you can open it up. You can see I have my keys here. Behind here, I keep my ID. So that's there. I keep like a uh, card to the grocery store here. So it is very functional. I believe this is one of the most functional pieces. If you get a six ring key holder, you will not regret it for your luxury collection. But I cannot recommend the Prada one, not the Safiano leather, nor the soft leather one. And the reason why you don't see a car key, my car key is here, because no matter if I hang it in the hook here or off of this key ring, it actually just falls off. And I don't I don't know if anyone that has another brand six ring key holder, can you let me know, do your keys fall off? Because in both of these, my keys just 
fall off of here. So this is actually where my car key is supposed to go. But if I put it on, it's not gonna stay. So this is normally how I would have it. And I would kind of keep that one out. And this is how I would carry my keys, put my key in the ignition. This would be there. It would just, I thought it was going to work out perfectly. And it really hasn't. And I think it's just the quality of Prada. So I feel like I love the idea of this. I love the concept. I would buy another one. Um, but not by Prada. And because of this reason, I don't even know if I would ever buy a Prada handbag. Now, I have two pair of Prada shoes, and they are both leather, and they are both wearing so, so well. I love my Prada shoes, and I just believe I'm going to stick with Prada shoes. I'm not going to go into Prada handbags because this was a great little test for me, and um I just don't like it. So also, I would say if you want to try one of these, I re recommend getting it from the outlet because I think this one, it may have been like, let's say it was $350. Well, this one was like $125 or something like that. It was total, so much less than this one. So let me know if you have these, if you have problems with them, let me know your take um, and your experience with Prada's quality, I would really love to know it. Um, I just thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and join the Girl Boss Beauty community. Like I always say in every video, be blessed to be a blessing, Girl Boss Beauties. Bye.